Hello and welcome to this Raggett College Further Maths video on work and energy. So we're looking here at definitions of energy. You will have met these in your science GCSE course, I would expect. So we've got kinetic energy, which is energy possessed due to motion, and that's equal to a half mv squared. The work done by a force acting on a body also equals its change in kinetic energy. And this is just for horizontal motion. So if a, work, if a force acts on a body, that will increase its, um, increase its kinetic energy. So if we find the increase, that will be equal to the work done. So generally, work done is equal to change in energy. Uh, gravitational potential energy is the energy a body possesses due to its position. So if you think of a table with uh, a book resting at the top of it, that has potential energy because with the slight push, it's going to have a change in, in height and that's going to give it some velocity going down. So things have can have an energy due to their position, and that's called their potential energy. It's always important to set the zero level for potential energy, because obviously in this example here, we would think of the floor as being PE equals zero. Um, but in other situations, you might choose a different point, so you need to consider that. So let's have a look at some questions. We've got a particle of mass 0.4 moving with a speed of eight, calculate its kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is a half mv squared. The only thing you've just got to be a little bit careful of is units that you're in kilograms and meters per second. So this is going to be a half multiplied by 0.4 multiplied by eight squared, and that gives you 12.8 joules. So that's a very straightforward question. Question two, we've got a sledge being pulled across a smooth horizontal surface. So again, just draw a quick diagram just to make sure there's nothing you're missing. By a horizontal force. So we've got a force acting here. And we know that the work done is equal to 28 joules. So the work done is change in energy. So what we're going to say here is work done equals change in energy. So that's going to be the work done is 28. That's going to be a half mv squared, where v is its final speed, minus a half m uh, times 1.5 squared. And we know that m is 5, so I should put that in there. So using m equals 5 here and here, we end up with v squared is 13.45, and so v is 3.67 metres per second. So that's a question where you need to use this here, that work done is change in energy. Last question. We've got a box being pulled up an inclined plane. So let's have a quick diagram. So the box moves from here up to here. And we know that that distance is eight meters uh, because we're told that in the question. We know that the mass of the box is 15 kilograms. So in order to in work out its potential energy gained, well, that's going to be, you need to know this height here, which is x. So we're going to say that that is equal to the potential energy is the mass times gravity multiplied by 8 sine 30. So this angle here was 30. So we need to work out the vertical distance raised. And when you work that out, you get 588 joules. So that's how you work out some 
fairly straightforward examples of energy.